Today, we're wrapping up our travel series in Australia's most underrated destination, Tasmania. From the rolling hilltops and lush rainforests to the turquoise waters and native wildlife, it's easy to fall in love with the landscape here. This idyllic island state is home to some of the cleanest air in the world. But that's not all you'll encounter down here in Tassie. In this six episode series, we've given you a glimpse of what's on offer. From the bustling markets in Hobart and the beaches in Bruni Island to the gourmet culinary experiences in Swansea, we've managed to tick a whole lot off of our bucket list. And the best part is, we're not done just yet. Don't forget to subscribe so you can tag along for the adventure. Woohoo! In last week's episode, we travelled through a bushfire in northwestern Tasmania. We touched down in Stanley and headed up to the Nut. No, the Nut isn't what you're thinking. It's not a giant ball sack or a walnut. So let's get that image out of your head. This iconic spot is what remains of an ancient volcanic plug and it boasts all-worthy views of the rolling hinterland, Bass Strait and Rocky Cape National Park. If you're planning to visit northwestern Tasmania, don't forget to add the nut to your bucket list. After hitting the heights, we headed back down from the hilltops to a high tea at the Mariner Rose. I'd been eagerly awaiting this all day, and it's safe to say that at this point, I was salivating like some kind of a sweet crazed dog. This mouth-watering high tea had everything from creamy cucumber sandwiches and zucchini bacon slices to champagne scones and melting moments with fresh fruit. I have to say, as a self-proclaimed sweet freak, this felt like I had landed in paradise. What do you think, Mum? It's yum. Yes? Yeah, delicious. Cute. The lemon meringue tart and fairy floss topped vanilla panna cotta were my all-time favorites. If you're planning a trip to Stanley, Definitely don't miss the high tea at Marina Rose. We got through everything except for scones and one piece of chocolate and a beautiful little thing. I smashed it. Spider with a perm. <laughs> it's a microphone. Okay. After sampling the wine and having a few more awkward encounters in the wine bar, we decided to head back to the Stanley Hotel yet again for another dinner. Of course, I had to order the gravy. Back at the pub, round two, let's go. Chips and mushroom gravy. Delicious. A few moments later. Your girl's got a gravy problem. After demolishing not one, not two, but three pots of mushroom gravy, we decided to head down to the beach to watch the penguins come in. Honestly, the footage is not that good, guys, so I apologize. 
But hey, I thought I'd chuck it up here anyway. As we were penguin watching, out of nowhere, this little wallaby appeared and the entire crowd just went, (gasps) honestly, I thought it was going to eat the penguin, but turns out nothing actually went down. Thank God for that. We are at Dip Falls. Let's do this. Let's do this after I pee though, because I need to pee. If you're looking for a day trip in Northwest Tasmania, Dip Falls is a top choice for locals and tourists alike. Located in the Dip River Reserve, you can combine this stop with a visit to the 400 year old Big Tree. Ooh, wow, this place is beautiful. And there is no one else here. Ah, Australia, you've done it again. Mission complete, high five. Oh yeah. Okay, that was fun. And now we are gonna go and see a big tree. Ooh. Yeah. Kookaburra sitting on the old bench. Wow, what a beautiful bird. Hello. wasps just tried to record something cool but it's not gonna happen because there are so many wasps there getting in the car as quickly as i can did it Seriously guys, even though I made it look super sarcastic, that bull ant bite hurt so f***ing much. In fact, it hurt so much that I had no choice but to head back to the hotel and get my favourite mushroom gravy. <laughs> you know, I'll pour you no for you. <laughs> I'm not saying that. <laughs> but you're thinking it. Same order as last night, favourite gra- mushroom gravy of my life. Round two of the mushroom gravy, let's can go. Every time this trip, this woman has butted in here like this. <laughs> We've got an affogato with frangelico and coffee. Yes. Rip.
Our final day in Tasmania felt kind of bittersweet. We decided to get active, so we rode our bicycles around the town. Stanley really was the perfect place to wrap up our two-week trip. The silence of the evenings, the crashing shoreline, and the windswept beaches provided a picture-perfect contrast from our action-packed holiday. Mom has gone in to see this historic site and I am out here chilling with my cow friends. Yeah. It's what it's about, people. Cows and beaches and nuts. I am Max chilling, passenger seat, back princess. Mom has just arrived to the car, so this conversation has been cut short. Let's see if she notices what the camera's on when she goes around. Oh, you in that bloody video. You got it going all the time. Sorry for interruptus. Right. I have interruptus mamamus. <laughs> the next day, we got up around 6 a.m. to make the five hour commute back to Hobart. I'm gonna wrap up this last Tasmania vlog here. If you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in next week's video.